Yo, 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 what up, world? It's your boy, L.A. coming to you with another real life shit segment. God damn. Hold up, y'all. So. Shout out to all my fans out there, man, that watches my videos, man. I love y'all. Straight up. Whether y'all agree with me or not. Anybody who takes the time to watch my videos, man, I appreciate it. Seriously, I truly appreciate it. And it means a lot, man. It means a lot. Okay, so now that I got that out of the way. Man, I want you out of here, so. God damn. Well, if this ain't some shit that sounds like me, boy, boy, boy. If this don't, if this don't sound like some shit, I will say, man, or damn near what I have been saying. But this guy, this guy came on the I Couple show. Man, look here. Shout out to my man, Chris Broussard. Hey, I, I love what Chris Broussard be saying on a lot of shit. Might not agree with all of it, but he be saying some damn good shit. This shit here, I got to let y'all hear this. Dude came on that show. And gave his opinion about the Spurs uh, bill versus the. Uh, ow, ow, ow. Woo. Why I gotta stop sitting like that? I guess it comes from the way I be sitting. So I'm gonna lean. Since I can't sit like that. Okay. So. Man, this shit here. What dude said, I want y'all to listen to this shit, man. The kid brought up a set of Oh, let me go back. Building plan. The bottom. Okay. Listen Apple to, this to get you legitimate. Oh, let me go back a little bit. So maybe it makes sense as to why you'd want to push your chips all in with the hopes of becoming, you know, at best an Eastern Conference Finals team if everything breaks right and you maybe get a few key injuries here I and there. Not own the right but for my money, I would... But they're not even that. Excuse no, me, not next year. Next year. Not next. But even for, for my money, I would much rather do what the Spurs are doing. Maybe OKC's doing a little too much, but get a bite of the apple to get you a legitimate superstar transcendent player, which Jalen Brunson is not. Because we all know... If you're going to win a championship, save for the 2004 Detroit Pistons, you need a superstar to do it. Hmm. Absolutely. Who's got the better rebuilding plan? The out of mean out Spurs or the soon to be mediocre Knicks? All right, let's Just get right to it. Carl is in out. Mobile, Alabama. Carl, you're on the Oculus. Carl, Mobile, Alabama. You got, Carl? Called in. Hey, thanks for taking my call, Listen guys. to what I he says. Uh, hey, this was kind of a tough one for me because... I don't really like either one of the models. Um, I'm a longtime Spurs fan. I go back to James Silas, Arthur Gilmore, and Ice. Oh, yeah. I, I, I followed them since I was a kid, brought up in San Antonio. And I, I don't think they're rebuilding. I think that basically what they're running is a good ball academy because oh. they've already won five championships. They built their brand as the winningest team. In, Hold in, on. Let me play that back. He said. Time Spurs fan. I go back to James Silas, Arthur or an ice Oh, yeah. So, Listen. I, I, I followed them since I was a kid brought up in San Antonio, and I, I don't think they're rebuilding. I think that basically what they're running is a basketball academy because... A basketball academy. That sounds like what I've been saying is that it seems like all the Spurs do is draft good players Build them up so far to where they get just so good, 
And we get rid of them. We trade them away. That shit don't make no sense. Keep listening. They built and as the winningest team in, in sports. So right now, and they tried the free agency thing with um, who's the center from Portland? His name is Casey. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. they, they, yeah, they, they, they swung for the fences a few times with free agents. Big dollar free agents. That didn't work. But now I think they're just running the basketball academy. And, so um, what, that, what expound on that basketball academy? I mean, they're not trying to win at like in the future. What do you think? I, I think that what they're basically doing, and I swatch what they do, they get good players, and basically he wants to train these guys to be long-term NBA players, and he teaches everybody how to run an offense and how to run a team on the floor. And as soon as they do enough to build enough market value and, and they get you know credit, in, in other words, the player gets good enough to get interest from other teams, then they let them go and get picks and keep going. So it's not a situation where they're like, hey, we're building, trying to win a championship. But why do you, let's be, just keep, that's a serious accusation. And I don't think it real. makes sense. You're in the business. It do make win. sense. Yeah. Especially yeah. a team that's already won. It might not make sense to them. Our championships, I but used to win. This is what's going on. So I, why would they do that? I mean, that helps other teams. That doesn't make sense. Why do you think, and you, and you, they haven't even been bad. Well, to me, for you to say that, I'm going to I'm going to tell you why. And I, and I watch them closely. Been bad for eight the, years. The game has changed. Popovich hates the way the game is run. Hates the three point shot. And I've watched them. They're good. They're a good young team. But all it takes is a team to get hot at the end of the game right. and hit four or five three pointers to lose. And I've watched the Spurs lose by three or four points a hundred times. And and it, it kills but you when a team the ones plays that three point shot does everything right. And this team that basically has, the, you know, has. has done nothing, nothing all game long gets hot from three-point arc and hits five or six threes and wins the game. But that so was Popovich just for that hates the game the way it is now. He hates three-point. So he's like, hey, you know, I think, right. and I'm not saying, I'm not it's saying an interesting, stuff. It's an interesting theory. That's an interesting yeah. theory. Rob G, what do you think about it? Yeah, that? you know what? I thought it was crazy at first. He said it. Until you realize that the Spurs just traded away a 25-year-old all-star defensive menace point guard with two years left on his deal at only sixteen and a half and seventeen and a half million dollars in a league where Russell Westbrook gets 47 and according to reports, Damian Lillard is about to get a two-year extension with over $100 million. So now you're not buying the notion that they're just trying to bottom out. No, I think they are trying to bottom out, but I think that his point... They, believe me, they're not going to... Uh, prepare Big Vic for another team, right? But I mean, like the the the, the idea Don't that build him up. maybe they haven't really been trying to That's win the last few years because for the they Spurs, haven't been good enough. But the want to why play guys. They, first they had no, first they had Kawhi and Aldridge, right? Then they had Mar. And Aldridge and I, I know we that's not wasn't a championship caliber team, but they were thinking they could be good. Demar been better. He was better in Toronto than he is this, was in San Antonio. Right. Even though, you know, he played well in, for the Spurs, but he's been better in Chicago than he was in San Antonio. So I, I just, I hear you. I mean, the way he laid it out, he's right about Popovich not really liking the three-point shot and the overemphasis that that has in the game today. But I just don't think we've seen that there's been enough time right. to say. And, and you know, an you know what's crazy like is, is the last time they Eight won years. a championship, they embraced the three ball more so yeah. than any team had up until that point. Yes, we when did. It, uh, LeBron's heat. Let's sneak in one yes, more. We, we got Robert in St. Louis. Robert, you're on the Yacht Couple, Fox Sports Radio. What you got, man? So, there you have it, man. We're. You heard another person say it. And shout out to my mans, everybody that be coming and kind of feeling what the hell I'm saying. Like, we just can't, you know, can't afford to pay these players, man. Y'all show me one time where the Spurs dished out a $100 million contract. Like, 
or a hundred fifty million dollar contract to one player. Like I don't even think I don't even remember Tim Duncan getting no hundred million dollar contract. Maybe at one point, but I I I don't remember, correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. I don't remember Tim Duncan getting no damn contract over a hundred million, man. Now, if he did, that probably was it. Because everybody else, Aldridge ain't getting no, no $100 million contract. He had like an $80 million contract. So, they weren't going to get quite the, 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 the max. They don't want to give Murray the max. And it's like, Clutch, clutch sports like, hold up, man, like, ah, oh, man, you ain't getting what you posted, you know, you ain't getting what you deserve, man, in San Antonio. They ain't going to want to pay you. This is what clutch probably telling this client, man. <sighs> I, man, I, look, look, man. It'd take a whole lot for us to just go out and and whoop ass. We have to really just be dominating in order for me to believe otherwise. We would have to be going out and winning games like terrorizing motherfuckers in order for me to believe otherwise. But I... I just cannot see this team like maybe why Pop still there or what? I this coaching strategy, man, is is it fucks with my head. I I, I can't grasp it no more because you know he like I say, man, he holds players back. And like dudes say, we building, we we running a fucking basketball academy. Damn, that do not, do that not sound like some shit I've been saying, y'all. A basketball academy, and it, it that's what the man. If that ain't some real shit, if that ain't some real shit. Like, I can't just, like, I still, like, I done checked out some of the highlights of the players we drafted. They're pretty decent. To the players that we drafted, Malachi Brandon, uh, what's the other one name? Uh, Blake Wesley and Sohan and, Primo, Vassell, Keldon, Wieskamp. Man, if y'all ever see this video, man, like, I, I would, I would, I would, like, man, I will applaud y'all to the motherfucking fullest. If any of y'all choose to stay past y'all rookie deals. And if you stay past the rookie deal, if they give y'all an extension, anybody, Victor Wanyama, when you if you get if you get drafted to the team, if we get the number one spot, if we even get the chance to draft Victor Wanyama, Let's say we do. Let's say we do draft them with the squad that we got. Let's say we do draft them with the squad that we got. And the players become good. I just don't want no Spurs fans heart 
to hurt like mine's is hurting, man. And a lot of other fans out here is hurting. I don't know if y'all really understand the, the, the thing of being a fan of a team and then you become fans. You become a fan of certain players on the team. And you get to watch them grow. Almost like they your kids or something. Not in a, you know, in that way, not to say they kids. But I'm saying it's like, especially when you older than, than them players and you and you watch them come in young. When I watch Lonnie come in, DeJounte come in, and now it's like, I'm scared to watch Primo. Like, it's like I want to watch him, and I know the boy got potential. Every player on our team has the potential to be something great. Not good, great. We got the best shooting coach in the NBA. The best shooting coach in the NBA. Keep that in mind. Along with the greatest coach in the NBA. Y'all tell me how the fuck we ain't winning. And why are we letting these players walk and trading them away. That if that don't fucking wake y'all up, what will? What what will it take? I'm trying to wake y'all up because I've already seen through the bullshit now. And like dude just said, y'all heard it from another straight die hard fan, man, that has Watch this team back in the 70s and 80s and shit. You know what I'm saying? I was born in 78. I started watching the Spurs in 93. You heard from a fan that watched them way back then. And I'm telling you, I'm after him. And you heard this man say, they're running the basketball academy. Put him with the greatest coach, greatest shooting coach. Build players up so good. Shimizzy Metu. Hmm. Damn. Quiet Leonard. Hmm. Lonnie Walker. Derek White. It's like, it's almost seemed like, damn. I wonder why Dirty White wasn't getting too wasn't getting that better. It's like Pop ain't really getting a man a damn chance. Like you done already trade. It's like and 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 like I said, Dirt White was not should not have been starting next to Dejounte Murphy. That should have been Lonnie Walker. That the mixture, them two, them two out there, they two, they so aggressive, man. It's almost like Pop don't want to coach two aggressive point guards, or he don't want to coach no all the way full aggressive team players that can really think for themselves. Are y'all follow me? Like it seems like when Pop get players that can really think for themselves, it's like like with Manu. It's like he, he, Manu had to grow on Pop. Pop. Manu got on the Pop skin for doing shit that he wanted to do. Where Tim and Tony was like, yes, sir, Pop. Yes, sir, Pop. Yes, sir, Pop. Might have, you know, gave him a little bit here and there. But they was more of a yes, sir, Pop, than Manu. Manu say, I'm Manu. This is what I do. I got to do what the fuck I do. That's why Manu was so great. And you see how he held back Manu. Come on, y'all. 
wake the fuck up. Tony Parker, when we drafted him, he held him back for a little minute. He didn't come straight in starting. He had to ride the bench behind uh, Steve Kerr for a minute. That boy was already ready. But it's like we it's like we keep a chain. Like I believe Tim Duncan could have been way better than what the fuck he was. Like, seriously. I believe it, man, he could have been way, way better. I believe it was just a lot of ta lot, a lot of hidden talent. And Tim Duncan that we didn't get to see because Pop wouldn't show. It's like Pop wouldn't let let them show their full talent because it's like we would have to pay them on the level of other superstars and and all stars. That's just how the shit works. Like if you got a player and they and they know that they hold up, man, my numbers is. Better than he is. And he getting way more money than me. So it's like all that sharing the ball and shit. Yeah. That's cool. That's what you supposed to do. But damn it, if you got a motherfucking player or two that can take over the game and they got chemistry with their players and the players like, man, do your thing. But you got a coach that's saying, no, nah, hold up. That ain't, what, that ain't what I want you to do there. I need you to share the ball. I need you to pass it about four, five, six, seven times and then get a shot. It takes us hell to find a damn shot because this man wants us to pay. He wants the team to pass the ball all these goddamn times. Man, the game is changed, man. Like, these players is athletic as shit. And if you're not putting them out there and letting them play to their full fucking potential, look at John Morant. John Morant came in the game after DeJounte Murray. Why in the fuck is he one of the top five, what, top ten point guards in the game? Or he's up, they like, he led his team to being the second best team in the West. Ooh. And why is it that, why is it that, it's, and it's almost kind of like, I saw this shit coming with Murray, but I didn't want to believe it because I, I said it on my, oh, some old shit, that if we build up Murray, they gonna try to steal him away from us, or and you know Murray figured out like they not gonna pay me, so I'm gonna have to leave. They not gonna pay me what I'm worth. You see what I'm saying? If that player feels that he's worth more. And he looking around the league and you see players and his numbers is better than players, but they're getting paid more money than him. Yeah. I think any player will leave. These players, these players, sorry Spurs fan. I'm going to tell it like it is. These players ain't taking no pay cuts, man. They want their money. And y'all getting y'all asses hyped up. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I told you, man, I tried, but I can't do it because I see what's I see the real now. We don't want to pay nobody, man. And when you don't want to pay these, like these players is not stupid. They're going to catch on to the Spurs shit. And motherfuckers going to be like, man, nah, man. Don't draft me to this goddamn Spurs. Yeah, you going to go there and just be in the academy for a minute. They're going to build you up to dust four. Pass your rookie, maybe pass your rookie contract. Maybe they may give you an extension. 
But when they feel that you getting too good, you gone. I'm sorry, y'all. That's just the way it is. I don't see the Spurs. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I don't see the Spurs signing nobody. Maybe Victor Win Winmanyama. I don't see them. I I don't see them giving like once he get get that rookie deal about four five seasons. Okay, yeah, let's say y'all play that rookie deal. They gonna give him. They gonna give him an extension. Okay. They're going to give him an extension. And then when he outplay that extension, then they it come time for him to get the max or the super max. They're not going to want to give him that because it's too rich for their blood. The bottom line, y'all, is that no matter who we draft, y'all see we ain't going in, in free agency and really signing nobody. We just sign, we just sign a role player, a role player from OKC. He a solid, good dude. Play good against us. I seen him play, but he's nobody that. It's going to change the game for us. So, Spurs fans around the world, like I say, some, some miracle shit will have to happen for us. Like, Coach Pop, Pop will have to pull out some shit he been hiding and, and just say, uh-huh. This is what I've been waiting on. He had to do some spectacular shit and win a lot of games this season with this team. And then duplicate it next season. They say we looking to tank for Victor Wing. I don't think, you know, that will be uh a guaranteed thing, but so be it. But it just really, man, it's showing, man. We ain't signed a superstar since Aldridge. And nobody wants to come to the Spurs, man. Like, no, no all-stars. No superstars. Aiden is not. I, I highly doubt they sign Aiden. And I highly doubt he want to come there. Especially now that Murray's gone. This team just fans like, seriously. Y'all got to open your eyes. Y'all can get hyped and amped for, you know, the players this season. That's good. You know, I wish the players, like, the best. I wish, I wish the team the best. But, and let's say, hopefully they do do good. If we win good, if, you know, we win games this season. I hope we do. But here's the problem. When players get good, reach a certain level, all we're going to do is trade the players away. Or let him walk in free agency. That's the problem I have. So, and like I say, it don't matter who we draft. Don't matter who we sign in free agency of role players. When players get so good, they trade them away, man. They get rid of them. Because we running a basketball academy. Damn. This is your boy LA and I'm out this bitch. I'm finna go eat some. Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. Bash Spurs is running the cat. Damn basketball academy. Ooh, what the fuck, Pop?